Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Right, sorry, I was going to be out today, but uh, I've got to wait in for a parcel, so yeah, I can't go out. So yeah, I'll be going out with this tomorrow morning. This beast will be going out on the road, so I am looking forward to that way out, out on the tracks. Um, yeah, so I've got these two vehicles, as you know. Uh, it's very different because this one here is very um if you can see very springy they've all got this they both got the standard uh shockies i don't know if you can see that sorry about the bad lighting here uh they both got the standard shockies on the back um and this vehicle here let's turn this around if you can see this clearly uh it seems to have an issue if i pull this side down it sticks there as soon as you touch it it releases itself uh, on this side you can see it's very springy this side it's not but like I say you touch it anywhere pull the vehicle anywhere and it pops itself back up so I'm guessing that's just uh, the way it is um, so you haven't got as much about which is better look that is spot on almost well not spot on but the standard that's pretty Good out the box this vehicle just sits as in this one is mega bouncy which you are going to bounce around on the track uh, with that I plugged this in this morning for the first time just make sure it worked and it ran fine I will take the uh, two batteries I've got the two 7.4s I've got one for that one one for that one I will take that one for me tomorrow I'm just going to go up to a local woods and uh, this one, fairly flattish trail, uh, but I do know so many trails. I did, if, you, if I mentioned it, we heard me mention it, I did uh, cycling around the outskirts of Basingstoke on every track I could find for four years on a mountain bike. Um, so I know pretty much every single <coughs> little footpath and track around Basingstoke and there are a lot there are tons and there are some really good ones as well which are too short for mountain bikes but for these uh, will be fantastic that's my phone ping in there that's because I've just had the thing through to have my uh, COVID vaccination which I have to book so that is fantastic yeah I'm also doing the bathroom today so scraping the uh, old paint off um, so I've got to decorate that this week so yeah, uh, I was watching a video yesterday, he was showing a, obviously you need wheel weights in these, um, he was showing, I cannot remember the name of him, thank you for uploading that video, uh, he was showing to get some soldering iron and wrap it, take the tyre off, wrap soldering iron around the inner, he did two layers of soldering iron, it put the wheel from 36 gram to 54 gram two layers and then he put some tape over the top and then glued the tyre back on uh, yeah I might try that the only issue he had uh, just reading in his comments was that obviously the tyres do that and they inflate again that is because you have and you pushes air out you have a hole in the wheel so when you do that it pushes the air out and obviously lets air back in uh, he blocked the hole which gave him a little bit of an issue not too much uh, I'm not sure how big that hole is. You could probably stick a matchstick or something in it and weave the. Uh, it's only one hole, I think, in, on the inside of the wheel, in of the rim. Weave the soldering iron around the hole and then possibly put a dab of glue on there. Pull the matchstick out, put a dab of glue um, to hold it away. Put the tape around and put a hole in the tape. That should be fine. You want to make sure it's right before you glue the tyre on especially if you're using decent glue because you're going to be stuck with it on there unless you get some nail varnish remover I think removes uh, super glue and the like so yeah I did have an issue slight here with the tyre popping off I gave it a little test run um, hopefully it doesn't happen tomorrow when I take it out I don't think I've put it on there properly Yes, I have. Yeah, it's on there. One of the tyres is popping off. I know they're not on there very strong. 
but I just want to take it out, give it a testy, and um, see how it goes. So I'll do this one tomorrow. Is the plan? Take that. This is. I've just stuck a couple of bits on. I haven't actually got any glue, and the door handles and that fall off. But these bits seem quite solid. Uh, so the plan is take that one out tomorrow, and then this one the next day, and just see how they run. Bulk standard, out of the box. See if there's any issues or anything. I'm guessing there might be a tyre issue on the back of this one, um, and then and see how they perform. So I'm going to go to a flat bit of track I know, uh, and give it a go, and then do the same again with this one the next day, and then start going into some hardcore track. Well, not hardcore, but there's an awesome track I know, not too far away from me. It follows an old footpath and they've built like a uh, track that goes up and down the hills along the back. I'm guessing these will be quite awesome along that. That's one of the localest ones to me. Uh, I have to cycle there. We don't have use of a car tomorrow. But I haven't got use of a car all week. Got the week off work and the other half needs it for work. It's more important she has the car than me uh, to go out and do this. So yeah, I've got the glue, the lights on. Haven't done that yet, um, obvious reasons. I haven't got any glue. I'm not too worried about it at the moment, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I need to get some glue, I need to get some solder iron. Is it called solder iron? I can't remember the stuff. Flex, is it flex? Sorry, I'm terrible with my words. Um, I think it's flex, isn't it? I can't remember. It's quite a thick one. We did the two layers on there. And then my plan is, I'm I don't, I'd change my mind from one minute to the next, but the plan is to do it to this one first, uh, and then I want to get some wheel spacers to bring the wheels out slightly on this one. I probably won't on that one, but I think this one would look awesome with the wheels slightly brought out. Weighted wheels, wheels brought out, and then we can start looking at shockies and bits and bobs, um, and at some point purchasing another one. I'm not sure what to go for next. I was looking at the C24, but the C24, from what I watch, is it's not as good as these out the box. It's um, yeah, it's a bit light on the back. I don't know. There's something not right about it. Um, it'd be quite nice to get a M9, MN90, but then to get it to this standard, then you've got a spend a fortune upgrading it or the 96 which was the military version of this one but I've seen a lot of people don't put the military stuff on it and it looks like one of these and you can occasionally pick them up really cheap because uh, not many people really went for that military look so that would be an idea or that one there on the box I would quite like it in that colour as well and then obviously the MN86 at some point um, when I have some more cash. So it's a little bit more pricey at the moment. But it's not a lot. I don't have a lot. So, yeah. So hopefully, I've checked. I went round with a quick. I haven't taken the tops off yet. Uh, I went round with a screwdriver, just checked everything was tight. There's a little bit of play in one of these arms on this one. I can't remember which one it was. And they won't seem to tighten up anymore. It seems a lot more play than the other side, but um, they're not coming off. I uh, just want to run them out of the box and see if they survive. So on a very basic trail, hopefully there's not too many walkers out. You know what it's like since COVID. Everyone's discovered they have legs and they can walk um, <laughs> everywhere you go. There are just hundreds of people. So I'm going to try and pick a quiet location and hit the trail. So awesome. So tomorrow you should have uh, a video of these bad boys, or well, this bad boy, actually going along. Fantastic. Please hit the like, hit the sub and all that stuff. Um, now I'm fairly new to this. Well, I'm new to this. I have not got a clue what I'm doing. So I have not used a radio control car for years. So this is all like new to me. Again, I had the Tam years, years ago. Um, I think like everyone did that's about my age. Had to have a Tamir, or Tamir, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and then about 20 years ago I had a P1 
petrol, RC buggy, but I literally ran it in and then the gearbox just shredded itself and I sold it. So it never really got much use at all. So awesome. Right, like, sub and all that and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.